I hope you would agree to try to imagine this question as a stepping stone across the river of challenges. With all of your efforts toward the correct answer, you're building a bridge to the island of your triumph. You need to determine the smallest answer among four possible choices. Choice A, 2 fifth plus 3 fourth. Choice B, square root of 4 minus 0 0.75. Choice C, 1.2 plus 1 eighth. And last but not least, choice D, 2 third multiplied by 2. Well, guess what? I'm on the same page with you, and I also think it's a tricky question. But remember though, you are not navigating this path alone, and I'm here to help, as well as other subscribers on this channel. Whether you're a problem-solving expert or a newcomer, I have full faith in your capabilities. Take a moment to gather your thoughts, tap into your imaginative side, and let's triumph over this challenge together. Your solution almost ready and definitely within reach. Are you ready with your solution? I am eager to see it, so let's proceed and compare the answers. The best way to solve this challenge is to solve it for each expression and convert the end result to decimals. Let's start with the first expression, 2 fifth plus 3 fourths. 2 fifth equals 0 0.4, 3 fourths equals 0 0.75, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.75 equals 1.15. Now let's look at expression B. Square root of 4 minus 0 0.75. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 0 0.75 equals 1.25. Let's go to the choice C. 1.2 plus 1 eighth. 1 eighth equals 0 0.125. 1.2 plus 0 0.125 equals 1.325. And in choice D, we have 2 thirds multiplied by 2. 2 thirds multiplied by 2 equals 4 thirds, and 4 thirds equals 1.33, since number of digits after decimal point goes into infinity. So let's summarize what we've got. For choice A, we got 1.15. For choice B, the result is 1.25. For choice C, 1.325. And last but not least, choice D is 1.33. So the smallest result is 1.15, and the correct answer is choice A, 2 fifth plus 3 fourth. With this question, it's pretty clear that explaining data analytics to your grandma is like decoding a complex algorithm with a punchline. The interpretation might be fuzzy, but the laughter is always in the regression. You are presented with four words, and you need to determine the one that is misspelled. The words are choice A, concatenation, Choice B, normalization. Choice C, aggregation. And last but not least, choice D, duplication. Feel that you stumbled upon a tough task? Well, it's not one of those your grandma questions. I can tell you this. It's a serious data analytics business, but you are not alone in this journey. Whether you're a problem-solving veteran or newcomer, I believe in your capabilities. Take a moment to reflect, tap into your creativity, and let's tackle this challenge together. Your answer is just waiting to be discovered. Are you ready with your answer? Let's move forward so we can sync up the solutions. To be able to best answer this question, let's understand the meaning of each word. Concatenation stands for merging or combining two or more things, such as datasets or strings, into a single entity. Normalization is adjusting and scaling data to a standard format or range for consistent analysis. Aggregation is summarizing or combining data to obtain overall insights or totals. And last but not least, duplication is creating identical copies of data or records within a data set. I am pretty sure you figured it by now. The misspelled word is choice C, aggregation. The correct spelling is A-G-G, -G, two G's here in this word. R-E-G-A-T-I-O-N. And now you have a question to practice your skills. This practice question is waiting for your individual touch to get solved and I have full confidence that you can do it. You're presented with the sequence. The numbers in the sequence are 35, 16, 14, and then comes the missing number you need to calculate out of four possible choices. Choice A, 10. Choice B, 11. Choice C, 12. And last but not least, choice D, 13. Take a lead in solving this question on your own terms and post your answer in comments so I can share with you my feedback. 
I have full confidence that you will shine with your brilliance right now by solving this challenge. Thanks for participating and good luck. <laughs> Let's face it, navigating this question is like convincing a cat to take a bath. A tricky endeavor, but once you soak in the solution, it's a clean success. This assessment might be measuring our ability to handle slippery math expressions. In fact, you are presented with three of those expressions. The first one is 23 multiplied by 23 equals 25. The second one is 25 multiplied by 25 equals 49. And the third one is where you need to find the missing number. The expression is 27 by 27, and the result of it you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 64. Choice B, 72. Choice C, 76. And last but not least, choice D, 81. Feeling a bit stuck? Well, guess what? You're not alone. I feel exactly the same way. But I'm the firm believer that you've got this. Whether you're a seasoned problem solver or just starting out, I know you can do it. Take a deep breath, approach it with creativity, and let's navigate through this challenge together. Your breakthrough is just around the corner. Are you ready with your solution? Well, or at least excited about this mental workout. Let's tackle this puzzle and explore the complexities together. And don't forget to share your brilliance, insight, in comments. Your solution might be just the breakthrough we need. Did I warn you that this expression is slippery? In the typical world, 23 multiplied by 23 equals 529. But to solve this problem, we need to think out of the box. And instead of using traditional math, you need to sum up the digits and multiply the result of the sum operation. Let's look at the example. For example, 23 by 23 would be 2 plus 3 in parentheses multiplied by 2 plus 3 would be 5 multiplied by 5 and the result of this would be 25. The second expression would be 2 plus 5 in parentheses multiplied by 2 plus 5 in parentheses would be equal 7 by 7 would be equal 49. So the missing number could be calculated as 2 plus 7 multiplied by 2 plus 7, which would be equal 9 multiplied by 9 or 9 squared and would be equal to 81. So the correct answer here is choice D, 81. I gotta admit, if I would ever have to face these types of problems on the assessment test, I would need to bring the compass with me. And you know why? Because navigating through these price calculations felt like exploring a maze. Don't believe me? See for yourself. As a pricing manager for Echo Essence AgriCare Inc., Michaela purchased 160 kilograms of fertilizer at 200 US dollars per metric ton, and she is planning to mix it with 200 kilograms of fertilizer she already had purchased at 400 US dollars per metric ton. What should be the target price for the mixture if she is targeting 20% profit? You need to calculate and select the final price out of four possible choices. Choice A. $153.60 Choice B $156.20 Choice C $164.80 And last but not least, Choice D $172.40 Feeling stuck? No worries, it's easy to understand why you would be stuck with these types of problems. But whether you're a pro or newcomer, I trust that you can conquer this challenge. Remember, time is your friend, and a little outside of the box thinking goes a long way. You've got this. Take your time, get creative, and let's crack this problem together. Are you ready? Let's navigate the complexity of this question together and exchange solutions in the end. These types of problems can definitely be solved in multiple different ways. Make sure to post your unique way in comments so we can all learn. Let's start by looking at the term US dollar per MT which refers to United States dollar per metric ton. This is the pricing convention, which is widely used in international trade, since it provides a standardized and easily comparable measure for the cost of fertilizer on a weighted basis. Once we understand what we're dealing with here, our first step would be to determine the cost. For the first fertilizer, the cost would be 160 kilograms multiplied by 200 divided by metric ton, which is 1,000 kilograms which would be equal to $32. For the second fertilizer, Michaela spent $96, which is calculated as 240 kilograms 
multiplied by 400 and divided by metric ton, which is the 1000 kilograms, which equals to 96. So the total spent for both fertilizer would be $32 plus $96, which is equal $120. The best way to add 20% profit is to understand that 20% profit is equals 120% of the original cost, which means that the target price can be calculated as 128 multiplied by 1.2, and the end result of this would be 153. So Michaela should aim to sell the mixture for $153.60 per metric ton to make a 20% profit. And the correct answer here is choice A, $153.60. And now it's time for you to seize the spotlight. You need to tackle this question solo and showcase your brilliance. In this question, you need to identify all terms related to data analytics. The words are pivot, CVS, range, query, pilot, duplicate, and pylon. Once you've figured out all relevant words, make sure to share your answer in comments. I have full confidence that you can do it and excited to hear your thoughts so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for jumping in and happy solving. I love this thought-provoking assessment test question. In addition to boosting your reasoning skills, solving it improves your analytical skills as well as attention to details. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The matrix has numbers 5, 2, 14, 3, 3, and 15, 2, 4, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 17. Choice B, 18. Choice C, 19. And last but not least, choice D, 20. Take a close look and rationalize to see if you can come up with the answer. I think I'm getting closer to the solution. The key, I believe, is to look at the colors flow. Don't you think so? With this hint, give yourself a little bit more time to see if you can figure it out. But now that I found my solution, let's explore the problem-solving approach together. I am eager to break it down step by step for you. And as usual, if you have any unique insights, feel free to contribute in comments. I think the pattern here is that the rightmost value in each row is calculated as double of the first column's value and square of the second column numbers. Let's look at the example. For example, for the first row, the calculations might be 5 multiplied by 2 plus 2 squared, which would be equal 10 plus 4, and end result of this would be 14. For the second row, the calculations will be 3 multiplied by 2 plus 3 squared, which would be equal 6 plus 9, and end result of this would be 15. So for the missing value, the calculations will be 2 multiplied by 2 plus 4 squared, which would be equal 4 plus 16, and the end result of this would be 20. Remember the hint I gave you? The flow of colors here shows the flow of the calculations. For example, 2 and 2 are initial numbers, and 14 is the calculated number in the first row. So the correct answer here is choice D, 20. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Well, guess what? Your time to radiate has arrived. I have full confidence that you will shine with your brilliance right now by solving this challenge. You're presented with three triangles. Triangles have numbers inside. The first triangle has number 1 in the middle and numbers 2, 9, and 3 on the sides. Second triangle has number 2 in the middle and numbers 3, 7, and 1 on the sides. And then the third triangle has number 4 in the middle, numbers 7 and 5 on the sides, in, in the bottom right corner, it has the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 15. Choice B, 17. Choice C, 19. And last but not least, choice D, 21. Crack this challenge on your own and then share your solution in comments. I'm looking forward to discussing your answer and providing some feedback. Thanks for getting involved and good luck on this intriguing challenge. Let's dive into the world of letters with this amazingly tricky question that not only evaluates your English alphabet knowledge, but also tests your analytical skills and your strategies for tackling challenges effectively. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The matrix has letters inside. The first row has letters A, B, and D. The second row has letters B, D, and F. 
and then the third row has letters D, F, and then comes the missing letter, which you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, H. Choice B, D. Choice C, F. And last but not least, choice D, K. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. I mentioned that this question is a little tricky, so let me give you a hint. Take a close look and consider why would some boxes, some squares in the matrix would be in gray and some would be in white. Was it helpful? I hope it was. I've unlocked my answer and I'm excited to unveil some hints for you to share the answer. Let's explore the solution together. And obviously, if you've came up with the different and more creative alternative solution or tips how to solve these types of challenges effectively, make sure to post them in comments. To answer this question correctly, let's look at our matrix from a little different dimension. Each letter here corresponds to a specific place in the alphabet, which can be represented by the number. For example, letter A equals 1, letter B 2, C 3, and etc. If we follow this logic, we can replace all letters in all three rows with the numbers. So for the first row, the numbers will be 1, 2, and 4. For the second row, the numbers would be 2, 4, and 6. And for the third row, the numbers will be 4 and 6, and that would be the missing number. The next step is to determine what's happening with the numbers and how to calculate the missing number. Remember I gave you a hint? Hope you figured it out because numbers in the white squares here are the result of addition of numbers in the gray squares. Let's look at the example. For example, 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 2 equals 6. This is how the numbers in the white squares of the second row are calculated. 2 plus 4 equals 6. This is the result of the calculation in the third row, which would mean that the missing number on the intersection of 4 and 4 will be calculated as addition of 4 plus 4, which would be equal to 8. So the correct answer here is choice A, H, because H is the letter that corresponds to the number 8. And now it's your time to shine by solving this challenge. Keep in mind though that this puzzle can make your brain work in overtime, like a computer trying to update during a crucial presentation. Your only hope would be is to sip some ice water to avoid overheating. You're presented with the hexagon. Hexagon has number 2 in the middle and numbers 4, 5, 6, 14 and 23 followed by the missing number on the outside. You need to calculate and select the missing number out of 4 possible choices. Choice A, 30. Choice B, 32. Choice C, 34. And last but not least, choice D, 36. You need to solve this challenge solo and post your solution in comments. And once you solve this challenge, I promise you that you will feel like a freshly rebooted computer and will be ready for new heroic adventures. Thanks for trying and good luck solving this challenge. Prepare to tackle this tricky question designed not just to test your mental math abilities, but also to improve your critical thinking skills. You're presented with the circle, which is broken down into eight equal parts. Each part has a number, and the numbers are 14, 28, 42, 56, 41, 82, 24, and then comes the missing number. You need to determine the missing number and select it out of four possible choices. Choice A, 21. Choice B, 57. Choice C, 65. And last but not least, choice D, 96. Tricky question, don't you think so? But believe it or not, there is a logic in these numbers. At least this is what I found. And since I did find my answer, I'm thrilled to compare it with your solution. Let's continue so we can examine your strategies step by step and if your brilliant approach is better or more efficient, don't hesitate to let us know in comments. Remember I told you that this question is tricky. Let's look in details why the answer is not obvious. Let's look at the numbers 14, 28, 42 and 56. As you can see, they all increase by 14. 14 plus 14 equals 28. 28 plus 14 equals 42. And 42 plus 14 equals 56. But then this pattern breaks, and you see numbers 41, 82, and 24. Unfortunately, this pattern is misleading, and it's there to confuse you. 
in this case the random numbers could have been used as well so what is the right solution take a look at the circle in the middle if you draw the line from the number through the middle of the circle the numbers on the opposite side of the circle are reflections of the numbers on the other side let's take a close look for example 14 becomes 41 28 becomes 82 42 becomes 24 and 56 then becomes 65 so the correct answer here is choice c 65. thanks for watching i really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest youtube channels to help people become smarter increase your iq and to pass any test if the content of this video was helpful please make sure to click the like button to help youtube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and when you tell us we will deliver it for you in the future for links to free and premium resources please check the description and comments of this video you can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to download the materials related to this topic i really appreciate your endorsement support and patronage of this channel and thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe please leave feedback suggestions or corrections in comments and all the best on your journey i'll see you in my next video